hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm Aisha butterfly so this is going to be my updated skincare routine so i've not done a skin routine in so long because i stopped focusing on my skin just because i found when i was focusing on it so heavily i was so miserable and it just dragged like the whole process dragged so much and it felt like there was no improvement but i'm looking at my skin it's obviously not perfect as you can see there's loads of like dark marks still on my skin but in terms of like active acne i think it's reduced massively and then this is my face it's not perfect but the thing with skincare is it's not going to change in a week two weeks three weeks so i'm just going to talk you guys through my skincare um hold on let me get myself <laughs> so when i have makeup on i like to double cleanse so i use this simple cleansing oil and all you have to do is put some on your hand rub it whilst your makeup is on don't wet your hand don't wet your face you have to do this dry and i think there's like a science behind the oil breaking down your makeup and then once you've used the oil this is nearly finished then i use a gentle cleanser so this is the CeraVe one yeah this is for normal to dry skin i just use like two pumps rub it wash it off with water then do it once more with just this one and also once a week i like to use this clay i just use like a scoop of this powder um healing clay and i put a bit of apple cider vinegar and once a week i'll just put it on my face let it dry wash it off you only need to do that maybe once a week i used to use the ordinary the, the red one the what's it called the peeling the whatever the red one i've stopped using that because i found that it made my skin really sensitive there wasn't really much improvement so i've just stuck to that clay mask that sucks up all like the active spots which is what i need so then this is like once i've washed my face i like to use the polish choice liquid exfoliator this has been really good uh, i use it morning and night and you just need like a cotton pad put like a few drops just wipe your face with it and that's it this one is super gentle and i think it's been really good so far so and then after that this is what i got prescribed from the gp it's the jurac and i think it's got uh <laughs> i can't really i can't pronounce it let me just put it to the camera yeah Clean something benzoyl peroxide so I got this one, this is prescription, but if you go to your GP and you just say you've got acne, can they prescribe you Jorac? They'll give you Jorac, so yeah. So after I use that, I used to, okay, this is now the ordinary. So I used to, so I've got hyaluronic acid here, niacinamide with zinc and alpha arbutin. So I used to layer all these three, but what I have found is it's too much for my face. It's too irritating and I found the product start to peel. So the next step after this one is I rotate between these three each day, well, each morning. So I have to choose which one I wanna use. So the hyaluronic acid is really good for hydrating your skin. So let's say I feel like my skin is really dry, after the Jorac, I'll use just this. Um, so the Alpha Arbutin, this one like prevents spots from like forming in the first place. And it, it says it, it reduces sebum production. So if I feel like I'm having those breakouts and I just want to avoid that, I'll use this. And then the Niacinamide, this one is really good for like texture. It's good for discoloration. Obviously you can see I have a lot of discoloration. The Alpha Arbutin is really good for discoloration as well. But, um, <laughs> yeah so after that so i like i said i use one of the three if it's a nighttime routine i'll choose one of these after my jaw rack i always use that at night as well i'll choose one of these again and i'll also go with my either my retinol or my vitamin c it's over there somewhere i'm not gonna get it i can't be bothered so yeah i like to use this sometimes i just use um sometimes i skip this it all depends on like how your skin feels so i think it's important to 
pay attention to is your skin feeling irritated is it feeling sensitive how does it feel because if you're not listening to your skin then obviously it's gonna not be nice to you then after that i use this snail essence from cosrx and i just use like two or three and i rub it in this is my next step and then after that i use the cerave moisturizing lotion i used to have the moisturizing cream but i found it was so thick i felt like it was clogging my pores and breaking me out so last but not least is my bondi is it bondi sands yeah bondi sands um sunscreen i've actually not used this yet today i've done my skincare already but i've not used sunscreen yet oh god and this is such a good sunscreen because before i would find sunscreen would like leave me really white like it would leave this ghostly like white cast on my face and i didn't like that so yeah that's my whole skincare routine uh and then i use vaseline this is the one i use the rosy one to just give me like a natural rosy lip so i'm gonna put you guys on these two products it's not sponsored i bought this it was like well expensive it's called grande lash i found this on tiktok so this one is the brow one and all i do is i just put it on my brows because i don't know if you guys have noticed i've been like wearing my natural brows i've been trying to go for a more natural look um i don't want to like yeah i want to go for a more natural look wear natural brows these are individuals i've gone for like a natural individual lashes i used to wear like really big lashes and what i found with my face is less is more <laughs> so this one is the lash one like i i think i mentioned in the previous video loads of like lash techs that do like um individual lashes have said they can't do my lashes because it's too short and it's too curly and obviously that's made me feel quite insecure about my lashes so i've been using the serum all you do is you just put it on the top and the bottom and then you try to like it basically grows your lashes so yeah that's my whole skincare routine <laughs> if you're watching this video and you're not happy with your skin or you don't like your skin or you're quite insecure i would say trust me i know exactly how you feel it feels like oh when is it gonna clear why does everybody else have good skin but i'm telling you nobody has perfect skin even the people you might look at and envy and say oh they've got perfect skin they feel like their skin is also not good enough so it's like just don't compare yourself to anyone it took me a while to be able to go out like just like this with no makeup nothing um feel confident because i used to be very 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 insecure about my skin it was probably my biggest insecurity but you know what whatever i'm gonna whatever like you just have to get on with life really and don't wait until like this is perfect or that is perfect before you start like living your life just do it now love yourself now because then if you don't change your mindset you can have perfect skin you can have the perfect body the perfect job the perfect life perfect life or whatever like what is perfect but what i'm saying is if your mindset hasn't changed you're still gonna feel miserable like if you guys didn't know i don't know if you, this is your first time on my channel but i used to make quite a lot of weight loss videos and the thing with me is i've always said to myself as soon as i lose weight i'm gonna be happy as soon as i'm like a size eight i'm gonna be happy and now i've got to that size i still feel fat i still feel big i still feel ugly i still feel unattractive and what i'm trying to say to you is that that don't attach your happiness to a specific goal i used to say oh when i have these shoes i'll be happy it's not gonna happen <laughs> like honestly I, I wish you could see my room right now because i've got so much stuff i've got so much shoes so much bag so much clothes everything i've always dreamed of i've got it right here and it's like am i like whoa so happy no i'm not i'm like obviously i'm very grateful but i'm still gonna have those like sad days i'm still gonna feel miserable sometimes and all, all i'm saying is you have to learn to be happy right now you have to be learn to be happy whilst things aren't perfect and stop waiting to start things like 
don't say oh yeah i'm gonna travel when my skin is perfect or oh, i'm gonna start youtube or i'm gonna do this when my skin's perfect or i'm gonna be confident when this is perfect or um i'll decide to make friends when this is perfect because what you're gonna find is you're gonna get there and because you didn't work on your mentality you didn't work on your self-esteem you didn't work on your confidence your self-love you didn't like practice your gratitude and stuff like that you're gonna find that you're still gonna be miserable you're still gonna be unhappy and the thing with me is i used to be extremely insecure about my skin to the point where i just couldn't even go i don't know one minute outside to just buy a bread to get bread i couldn't i just couldn't go anywhere without putting foundation i couldn't go to the gym but now it's like i go out like this and i do my best to be confident um because i used to like avoid people and like just not speak to people and just look down and just but now it's like as i am now i just i am still confident i still talk to people i smile at people whereas before i would look down not make eye contact be so like but the thing is if you're so confident in your own skin nobody will even notice your acne nobody's gonna notice it and i know i've like went on and on but i feel like you need to hear this now because there was a time i needed to hear what i'm saying right now and i wish someone was able to tell me don't put your life on hold until whatever it is that you've given yourself start living right now don't wait for anything don't wait till you have the perfect gym outfit don't wait until you're a specific size don't wait until your skin is a specific way your hair is a specific length you have a specific amount of money do what you have with what you have right now and just live life because you're going to look back and wish wow it's not even that bad i wish i had just enjoyed myself because there's a lot of pictures i look at where i thought i was like fat and because i thought i was fat and ugly i wouldn't like speak to people i wouldn't make friends i wouldn't do things and now i look back at those pictures and i'm like wow i wish i had been more confident i wish i had i had more courage to just live life it takes courage to live life i know it sounds like what you're talking about but it really does so yeah i'm gonna end the video there i hope you guys did enjoy my skincare routine i'm gonna do my best to list all the products in the description um apart from this one i think you need a prescription unless you go to like one of those pharmacy websites and try and get one um but yeah everything else i'll definitely link it in the description and i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you on the next one i'm about to do my makeup i'm going to uni today so i'm gonna do my makeup and i'm gonna film that so if you want to click on the next video to watch maybe i've not uploaded it yet so don't listen to me but i'm gonna do my makeup and i'm gonna probably upload it in a couple of days so yeah i'm gonna see you guys soon lots of love to you bye bye oh yeah no sorry no i'm still here um i just recorded how i did my frontal ponytail so if you want to know how i've done that go back on my channel maybe like the previous video and watch that and i think you might enjoy it if you like this hairstyle um yeah it's a frontal it's not a 360 so it's my hair on the back i just need to clip it actually uh yeah that's it guys i'll see you on my next video love you so much bye